Do not forget, you can support the channel with a like and you can also subscribe to be aware of the latest published videos. Thank you. We hope that here you can find the latest news, ideas and discoveries from the scientific world. A modern reconstruction of a trireme called the Olympias. In the years 1985 to 1987, the ancient trireme called Olympias, used by the Greeks, was recreated on a one-to-one -one scale. These types of ships were naturally used by other ancient armies such as Rome or Carthage. The ship was built in Piraeus and was created in cooperation with ship design architects and historians. The ship is 36.5 meters long and 5.5 meters wide and is probably much heavier than the originals. At the front of the ship is a 200 kilograms bronze ram, imitating the original that is in the Piraeus Museum. The trireme traveled the sea four times. The most interesting test took place in 1987 when 170 volunteers sat down at the oars and the ship reached a speed of 17 kilometers per hour. Interestingly, the unit was able to make a 180 degree turn in one minute. In general, the experiment brought many answers to the questions that bother researchers and prove the effectiveness of the individual. The ship is currently in Athens in the Maritime Tradition Park. The trireme owes its name to the three-road boat and the basic team, consisting of three oars, each operated a paddle on three different levels. The trireme was the dominant ship in the Mediterranean until the 3rd century BC. He was small, agile and played in large groups. It had a sail unit, but the battle mainly used oars, which provided steering. The main method of trireme combat was the use of a battering ram to destroy the hull of an enemy ship during the naval battle. There were many maneuvers and the circling of enemy units to get the best position against the enemy ship in order to use the battering ram as effectively as possible. The ship's crew consisted of about 200 people, of whom 170 were oarsmen and the rest were soldiers, servants and officers. According to the researchers, the unit was able to maintain a constant speed for many hours due to changing rowers and a thin figure.